They've been in place since 2015. You say in your statements that there's clarity in the market and the rules are clear. Just come on in. <laughs> you can't even answer the question. You say X XRP is a security? We're in uh, court and active. To correct a long series of abuses, I'm introducing legislation that removes the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission. I think we have a role to protect the American investor and the capital markets. And the Reclaiming my time, sir. You have played an obvious role in that. We have also, uh, sir, reclaiming my time. The answer is zero. And how many enforcement actions has the SEC levied against digital asset companies during your tenure, sir? My understanding is that the biggest crypto failure in history is probably FTX at $9 billion. Were you the chairman of the SEC when FTX collapsed? Yes. As and amended, I'm asking you, sitting in your chair now to make an assessment under the laws as exist, is Ether a commodity? Or a security. Without speaking to anyone. I know you've token. repeatedly <laughs> said you're not going to speak to one, except you've spoken to one. Bitcoin. Is Ether a commodity or a security? And again, it depends on the facts and the law. And if there's a group of individuals. I'm asking you about the, the facts middle. and the law sitting in your seat and the judgment you are making. Chairman Gensler, in advance of today's hearing, did you coordinate acceptable responses with Senator <laughs> Elizabeth Warren? No, I'm speaking <laughs> on my own behalf. If it prevents people from developing open source code and from being part of that, that is a tremendous loss for everyone. So, so don't, oh, hold on a second. Don't hide behind the DOJ because then it sounds like I need to send letters to the DOJ and not to the SEC about the SEC charges. I'm sure you heard about Ripple. Ripple was built just for the purpose of remittances using that platform. But don't think for a second that all the primaries at Ripple are not hugely invested in XRP themselves, <laughs> right down to everyone that owns Ripple stock. Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got some bags, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just J extra, extra. Bullishness, shout out to the latest sub, appreciate you stopping by, stuffing some bags. XRP. Go ahead, throw on those moon suits, throw on those pilot shades, buckle up. It's the futures, extra, extra. Bullish, let's go full speed, full throttle. Into the cryptoverse, we got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 1.33 trillion, up almost 2% in the past 24 hours. We got XRP here right around 51, 52 cents, up almost 2% in the past 24. Stellar XLM right around 10 and a half cents, up 0.6 in the past 24. BTC 30k, ETH around 2k. We got Flare Networks here right around three and a half cents, and we got Songbird right at a penny, up almost 10% in the past. 24. Digital asset investor is XRP a security. Warren Davison tells Gary to his face he's proposing legislation to fire him. Get company public. Uh, yeah. The the staff of the SEC does review those to see that they're in compliance. Correct. Is Coinbase a publicly traded company? I'm sorry. Coinbase is Coinbase publicly traded? Uh, yes. All right. So the SEC allowed pension funds and retail investors to invest in a company, Coinbase, that you apparently, from prior remarks, believe was engaging in illegal activity. Uh, all of their activities were laid out in their public filings in the S S1 prior to the IPO. Uh, you did say that you believe Coinbase is selling unregistered securities, correct? Um, again, I'm not going to speak to anyone. No, but you said that they're selling unregistered securities. This is your public comments. Uh, I, I think, uh, with all respect, I look forward to you finding that because I've Trying to be very careful. I'm we'll, not speaking we'll help about refresh your memory. company. Uh, in the Kim Kardashian settlement, the SEC stated that Ethereum Max is a security. She reached a settlement for promoting an unregistered security. The unregistered security is Ethereum Max. Have you charged the issuers of Ethereum Max for offering an unregistered security? We reached a settlement with a celebrity, Miss Kardashian. Yeah, but but not. She just promoted it. She doesn't operate Ethereum Max. Have you said that Ethereum Max is an unregistered security to the people that offer it? We we did in that settlement. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, it's still trading. Uh, what about Ethereum? Is Ethereum now a security? Uh, we had this. I, I heard your exchange. They've been in place since 2015. You say in your statements that there's clarity in the market and the rules are clear. Just come on in. <laughs> you can't even answer the question. You say X XRP is a security? We're in uh, a court and active. 
uh, discussions and litigation on that. You're in litigation because you do say it's a security. As you know, um, well, let's move on a little bit. As you know, you have essentially a Hotel California rule for crypto where you can check in anytime you like, but you can never leave. You have endless discovery with no resolution and no clarity for the captives uh, in the market. You have unworkable proposals for overhauling equity market structure, a de facto ban on crypto through proposed custody rule. You have high staff turnover, unhappy people leaving your office, and unhappy companies and capital leaving our country. Uh, to correct a long series of abuses, I'm introducing legislation that removes the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission uh, and replaces the role with an executive director that reports to the board where all authority would reside. Former chairs of the SEC will be un ineligible under my pr proposed bill. Uh, and this isn't just my take. It resonates across the political spectrum. The American people want democratic access to capital, retail investor participation. You can't just exclude retail investors from markets and claim it's for their own good. Our markets need to function and flourish, and I yield back. We got Tom Emmer says, Gary Gensler is an incompetent cop on the beat. He's actively putting everyday Americans in harm's way, and pushing American firms into the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. He filibusters on simple questions. From your perspective, is it more difficult now for the digital asset industry to access financial products and services in the United States than it was, say, two years ago? Sir, I, I, I'm not running one of those businesses. If they came into compliance, I think reclaiming my time. The answer, sir, is yes. Do you think you and the SEC have had a role to play in that? I think we have a role to protect the American investor and the capital markets. And the reclaiming my time, sir, you have played an obvious role in that. He's finalized zero rules for crypto companies to comply with, yet he abuses the SEC's enforcement powers against them. During your tenure at the SEC, how many rules has the SEC finalized that actually accommodate the existing regulatory framework and are specifically to the digital in asset industry so the crypto market can come into compliance? It's there, rule books that are on the books for years, so we have not finalized any new rule specifically with regard to crypto. We've proposed some things in best execution. We've also... Uh, Sir, reclaiming my time, the answer is zero. And how many enforcement actions has the SEC levied against digital asset companies during your tenure, sir? I think it's probably 40 or 50. The answer, sir, is about 55. During your tenure at the SEC... He was the cop on the beat when the biggest crypto fraud collapsed, doing nothing to stop these criminals before they defrauded Americans. My understanding is that the biggest crypto failure in history is probably FTX at $9 billion. Were you the chairman of the SEC when FTX collapsed? Yes. And how many times did you meet with FTX prior to their collapse? I think my public record shows two. You met it with FTX at least twice. And arguably, the second biggest crypto failure in history was Terra Luna. Who was the chairman of the SEC when Terra Luna collapsed, sir? We had brought... Uh, you were, sir, reclaiming my time. I, I hope Gary likes his steak. Well done. Meanwhile, Ripple-powered money tap adopted by three major Japanese banks it has been revealed that the three major banks belonging to Yamaguchi Financial Group will introduce money tap personal money transfer service for their customers. The money tap app is a smartphone-based service powered by the Ripple Net. Money tap was first introduced in 2016 by SBI and Ripple Asia, a joint venture between Ripple and SBI Holdings. And remember, all banks using XRP by 2025. Patrick McHenry confronts Gary Gensler as Ether is security or a commodity. We got crypto law, U.S. Uh, back in 2018, then SEC Corporation Finance Director Bill Hinman uh, stated that he believed Ether was not a security. Uh, last month, CFTC Chair uh, Benham expressed his view that Ether is a commodity. Uh, the State Attorney General of New York asserted in a court filing last month that Ether is a security. Clearly, an asset cannot be both a commodity and a security. Do you agree? Um, I, I Actually, all securities are commodity under the Commodity and Exchange Act. It's that we are excluded commodities. But I would agree that a security cannot be also an excluded commodity and an included commodity. I'm sorry, Chair, just to talk about the Commodity Exchange Act more precisely. Okay, so do you recognize, uh, how would you categorize Ether then? I think that the general sweep of what Congress did, not just in the 30s, but as amended- I'm asking you, sitting in your chair now to make an assessment under the laws as exist, is Ether a commodity or a security? Without speaking to anyone- I know you've okay. repeatedly <laughs> said you're not gonna speak to facts. one, except you've spoken to one, Bitcoin. So I'm asking you to speak to a second one, the lar second largest market cap here. 
And speaking to the tokens, there's 10 to 12,000. If there's a group of entrepreneurs in the I'm asking middle, about the one. public is anticipating a profit based on the- I'm asking a specific question, Chair Gensler. I said this in private. This should be no shock to you. I'm asking this question. Is, it an, is Ether a commodity or a security? And again, it depends on the facts and the law. And if there's a group of individuals- I'm asking about the, the facts middle, and the law sitting in your seat and the judgment you are making. And so, uh, Mr. Chair, I think you, you would not want me to prejudge because I'm also- But you have here. prejudged on this. You've taken, you've taken 50 enforcement actions. We're finding out as we go, as you file suit, as people get Wells notices on what is the security in your view, in your agency's view. I'm asking you a very simple question about the second largest digital asset. What is your view? And my view is, is if there's a group of individuals in the middle, middle that the public is in. All right. So let me just ask a second question. Then. Do you think it serves the market for an object to be to be viewed by the commodities regulator as a commodity and the securities regulator to be viewed as a security? Do you think that provides uh, safety and soundness for for for? Gary's just a puppet. Eleanor Terra says right off the bat, Patrick Mahoney asks whether Gary Gensler thinks ETH is a security, is Ether a commodity or a security. After several minutes of back and forth, Gary still refuses to answer and keeps talking around the question. 801 XRP, Warren Davidson speaking to Gary. Did you coordinate with Senator Elizabeth Warren on your answers today? Uh, the chair now recognizes a gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Davidson, for five minutes. Chairman Gensler, in advance of today's hearing, did you coordinate acceptable responses with Senator Elizabeth Warren? No, I'm speaking <laughs> on my own behalf. Did you coordinate with Democratic staff? And I ask because it happened before, and I want to be clear whether you operate of your own accord or whether there's some sort of coordinated approach to the damage that you're inflicting on America's capital market. Um, I'm, I'm here as, as sitting in my role as chair of the agency, but I speak uh, and I get... You know, remarkable support by uh, SEC uh, staff. All right. Well, I have a few quick questions. Gary's role as a puppet. Meantime, in the United States, the largest exchange in the U.S., Coinbase, which has done everything it can to be compliant, is thinking of leaving the U.S. Although two years ago, it was allowed to go public by the SEC. What changed in two years? Watch your guru, Justin, the UAE regulator, to accept licensed applications from crypto firms seeking to provide services in the country. The SEC Gov is moving towards DeFi oversight as it reopens proposed regulations. I view this as a very consequential moment, Commissioner Hester Pierce says, addressing her dissent. Yeah, I mean, I think we really need to talk about this because if it prevents people from developing open source code and from being part of that, that is a tremendous loss for everyone. So I, I really just think we need to get some clarity um, on, on some of these basic issues. I, I view this as a very consequential moment. And again, maybe others will read the document and come to a different conclusion. I hope that I hope that they do. And if they do, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. If people think that I'm over reading it, um, you know, please let me know that as well. But but based on on what's there and what I got in response to my questions around the, well, we'll kind of know it as we look at facts and circumstances. I just don't know how that gives someone ex ante any confidence when someone sits down and says, hey, I want to be a developer in this space. SEC versus Ripple, we have always said that we would love to settle, but it requires one very important thing. And that is that on a go forward basis, it's clear that XRP is not a security. Digital asset investor on Gary not turning over the FTX documents to Congress. What a national embarrassment. I believe in congressional oversight and I know. Okay. All right. Support. Moving on. Moving <laughs> on. I'm taking that as a no. So the climate disclosure request, you uh, like that. You're responded to our FTX request solely with publicly available documents. Uh, to date, 213 pages of those publicly available documents have produced. And guess what? Uh, you didn't give us anything surrounding the charges filed against Sam Bankman-Fried. Uh, on April 12, uh, Mc, uh, Chair McHenry and I sent you a follow-up letter, and uh, I, I we're led to believe that the staff recommendation memo presented to the commission for a vote on charges against Sam Bankman-Fried exists. Is that true? Is there a memo from the staff recommending to the commission the, the charges that Sam Bankman-Fried was uh, was ultimately charged with. Under standard practice, our commission receives action memos from the staff. Whatever. So it does exist. It, we we work on on. So it does exist. Okay. Well, you haven't sent that to us. Um, your staff has frankly told us that it exists. Yet you have not sent it. When we conduct an investigation, we are obliged to keep investigative matters 
confidential. So don't, hold on a second. Don't hide behind the DOJ, because then it sounds like I need to send letters to the DOJ and not to the SEC about the SEC charges. So we'll be following up with this after, uh, after this. My time has expired. This is the clown holding up American innovation and XRP, the Ripple Net, and the historical landmark case, but they have no answers. Cross-border payments. Cross-borders will stop using SWIFT and use stable coins or bridges between the banks, or I'm sure you've heard of the Ripple, Ripple Net. You were asking me about cross-border. Cross-border will stop being um, using SWIFT. Cross-border will start either use stable coins or will use bridges between the various central banks or bridges between the various coins. Remember, composability, one coin will be able to be transferred with it another. So if, a, so if a, um, let's say, JP Morgan coin will be transferable and exchangeable with a, a Goldman Sachs coin. And therefore, all these transactions cross-border will be real-time and nearly for free. Or we have like, a, a, I'm sure you heard about Ripple. Ripple was built just for the purpose of remittances using that platform. But in reality, uh, you don't have to be uh, stuck to one um, ecosystem. You need to go to the one that has got the most network effects. XRP, the biggest network effect up and running since 2012. All ledgers closed since inception. All roads lead to the universal bridge. Linda P. Jones, the problem I have with congressional hearings is that they're all bluster. It's all a clown show. They all talk tough and now and people who should be now, but there is never any follow up. After the cameras go off, no one is arrested or goes to jail. It's all for show. Bob White kills the FUD on XRP. Interesting clip from John D. in space or Ripple Liquidity Hub comments from Bob Way. I, I want to reinforce what? one thing for anybody who thinks that Ripple is only looking out for Ripple and not looking out for XRP holders. I'm a huge XRP holder, and so is every Rippler that I know, the old ones, the new. And all of Ripple's stock is really uh, based on XRP price. And really, if you're from a Ripple perspective, the problem with the SEC lawsuit isn't that, oh, it put this huge cloud over XRP and it's frustrating the community. The, the real fundamental problem is it stopped Ripple from being able to IPO any of this stuff and actually take on more, more you know, funding and actually build an actual business on this, which I really think is more of what the SEC wanted to do. They were like, if they IPO, the game's over. We stop them from here. We frustrate them. And now they're just trying to squeeze Ripple and saying, we don't want you making any revenue. We won't want you selling XRP. We want you capitulating in this lawsuit. But don't really? think for a second that all the primaries at Ripple are not hugely invested in XRP themselves, <laughs> right down to everyone that owns Ripple stock. Absolutely. We love you, Bobby. Keep that eye on the prize. They know what's coming. We know what's coming. And they can't stop it. We got Crypto Bull 2020. It looks like XRP will top anywhere between $17 and $27 by the end of September 2023. If we continue to repeat the previous pattern. And we got cryptos to close it out here. XRP, four-hour bouncing and headed for the 21 MA. With that being said, bag man and bag ladies. Seems like we're getting closer to the XRP Phoenix rising from the ashes. Once we beat out the corrupt SEC and melt away the evil Gary Gensler. Will XRP finally be set free in the United States? All I know is the longer they take, the higher we climb. On that XRP rich list, I am the XRP bagman, the moon commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Buy up those bags. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button. I'll catch you up here on the mothership for the moon party in Vegas. BYOB. Bring your own bags. Be your own bank. Be your own boss. Peace out, Crypto Ghost. Stack them bags up and simple And wait until we explode I'll meet you at the disco We just getting started like an intro 589 and numbers Please, please call out bingo Be the new heroes The trash coins you hell